Hello, this is Mike from ServerRacksAndCable.com. Today I'm giving a Q&A on Category 5E and Category 6 cable. The first question is, the applications which use a transmission frequency of 200 megahertz are very rare. Then why should we use Category 6 cables over Category 5E? Bandwidth and the rate of data transfer are related to each other in the same way as a highway is related to traffic. Increasing the data transfer rate is similar to increasing the quantity of lanes on a thoroughfare to increase the traffic flow. It has been observed that the data rates increase by 100% every 18 months and due to this there is a need to use new means of transmission with better transfer rates. Today, the apps moving at a transfer rate of 1 gigabit per second are hitting the ceiling of Category 5E cables capabilities. Applications which require streaming of data like video and multimedia transfer demand high transfer rates and this demand can only be fulfilled by CAT6 cables which offer higher bandwidth. Use of CAT6 will also boost the development of new applications which will work with higher bandwidth. Now, how is Category 6 different from Category 5E? Category 6 cables have a better communication performance and higher bandwidth than Category 5E cables. The bandwidth available for Category 6 cables is 200 megahertz, contrary to 100 megahertz as available in Category 5E cables. Also including near-end crosstalk, next, improved net insertion loss, return loss, and equal level far-end crosstalks. LFAX. Category 6 cables also reduce the noise in the signal and therefore have elevated signal-to-noise ratio. Due to the higher bandwidth in Category 6 cables, they provide the systems more reliable and faster transfer rates for future applications. Now is Category 6 the future cable? The answer is yes. Category 6 indeed is a future cable. As predicted by analysts and autonomous polls conducted, polls show that around 80 to 90 percent of the new networks will be equipped with CAT6 cables. The best part of Category 6, which favors its installation, is that it is backward compatible with CAT5 and CAT5E cables. This feature of Category 6 allows the users to supersede the Category 5E networks with Category 6 networks. Why should a user replace Category 5 cable networks with Category 6 cable networks? The answer is very simple and clear. Better communication performance and its better protection from external noise makes a system with Category 6 networks more stable as compared to a system equipped with Category 5e cables. This means there is less loss of data packets and retransmissions of data at certain intervals. This makes Category 6 networks more reliable than Category 5e networks. At what time should Category 6 be recommended? Installation of cables is an expensive operation because it requires the wires to pass through walls, in ducts, and under the floor to reach every system, and replacing the existing cable network with a new network is also a costly affair. To prevent this extra expenditure, a person should definitely install the latest technology available in the market. If you install Category 5E cables today, and after a few years, when a large number of applications require higher transfer rates, then the range of CAT 5E cables provide, then will be you will be required basically to reinstall with CAT 6 cables. To prevent this, is advised to install CAT6 cables in all new networks. What shortest link does the standard allow? Honestly speaking, there is no small span distance. The standard is expected to perform for every length less than 100 meters. A rule in TIA ANSI EIA 568B.1 states that the consolidation location must be positioned at least 15 meters away from the telecom room to lower the effect of connectors nearby. The recommendations stated above 
are based on the work performance calculations for short links with four mated connectors in channel. Will Category 6 cables be effective in residential markets? The answer is again yes. Cat6 cables are very effectual in residential markets as well. This is because these cables can support high inline access speed while facilitating the more strict Class B EMC requirements. Due to better balance in Category 6 cables, they can meet the EMC residential requirements more efficiently than the Cat 5e cables. Due to the increase in demand of streaming types of applications like video and multimedia transfer, there will be an increase in the requirement for higher transfer rates, which can only be supported by Cat 6 cables. Why should a user not prefer optical fiber over Cat 6 cables? There is no doubt an optical fiber network is better than Cat6 network, but the major drawback is that installation and maintenance of optical fibers are very expensive. Today the cost of optical fibers with optical transceivers is twice as much as that in an equivalent network built with Cat6 cables. The setting up of copper cabling as in Category 6 is easier and can be done by straightforward gear and methods. Another feature of copper cabling is that it can support data terminal equipment power standards under development by IEEE. In certain specific situations, optical fiber can be better. For most situations, Category 6 cable is a less expensive choice. Now how are the connectors of Category 5e and Category 6 different? The connectors of Cat 5e and Cat 6 may look alike, but there lies a difference in their construction and use. Category 6 connectors have better transmission performance than Cat 5e connectors. Take an example of transmission at 100 MHz frequency. Next for Category 5e is 43 decibels, whereas next for Category 6 is 54 decibels. In simpler words, it means that a Cat 6 connector couples only about 1 12th of the crosstalk power coupled by a Cat 5e connector from one pair to another. We can also say that a Cat 6 connector is 12 times less noisy than a Cat 5e connector. Category 6 connectors were a result of new technology, new and better processes, and significant R&D resources that made the connectors better and more expensive than Cat 5e connectors. Where can I buy Category 5e and Category 6 cable? Visit our website at www dot serveraxandcable dot com s e r v e r r a c k s a n d c a b l e dot com or call us at one two one two seven five seven o o nine five to request a quotation.